Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here for 2 Minute Tip that is going to save your neck. And this is something that I've discovered you working with inverted layer masks. Now it's something we all fall for and we just don't think about this. Let me demonstrate right now. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer over the top of this. Let's make it a curves adjustment and we're going to brighten this up. Now what we want to do is actually just create a little bit of bright area. All right, so we've grabbed our layer mask and then what do we do? We fill it with black and then that way when we grab a brush and we start painting in there, we can brighten up just the area we want, you know, to kind of create a dodging and burning effect. Okay, but that's great. There's only one problem with doing this and I don't know if you've noticed, but then when you go to resize this, if you were working on a composite or something like this, and we go to resize it, look what happens. Those edges fill up. So let me just back off and I'm going to show you a better way of doing it right now. So this is something that you're going to remember and it's going to help you a ton and help you avoid that problem because I'm sure you've all come across that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our layer mask here and then we're just going to go to our curves like we did before. Let's just brighten that up. And now this time instead of filling it with black, you never want to fill those masks with black when you're going to do that. Either click invert right there or hit Control I, Command I on Mac, and that will do the same thing. Now let's grab our brush here, head our white, do our little dodging and burning kind of thing here. There we go, the light's just beautifully glowing in there. You get the idea. But then we decide, hey, let's resize this. And oh, look at that. Because we inverted it, we don't get those edges. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that tip. If you did, smash that like button into dust. Don't miss any of my tutorials or tips by becoming part of the Cafe Crew. Hit the subscribe button right now. If you are a subscriber, hit that little bell. And while you're at it, drop a comment, guys. I love chatting with you. Um, I'll jump in there and I'll answer any questions, join in any discussions. You know, just feel free to drop any comments in there. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.